Thanks. Welcome to Toronto. How are you feeling ahead of the um, Thank you. Yeah, I'm really excited to be here. Um, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big tournament. Really excited for uh, for it to start, and uh, can't wait to play some uh, some tennis. Great. Who would like to ask the first question? Um, so you mentioned uh, in an interview earlier uh, that said you were We had bouts of COVID, but now with COVID, you're very open about it. And you said that you mentioned you talked to some doctors. Like, can you can't really tell you if it's long term effects for yet. Has there been updates on that as the virus to talk to COVID? Um, yeah, I mean it. It lasted for a uh, for a while. I mean from April until. I mean, for, for a few months, and now I've definitely been feeling better, and um, you know, I have my energy back, and uh, you know, feeling like like myself again. So it, you know, should should all be good now. Should go to sharp on the score, and that uh, you've reached a career high ranking of number two this year. What's kind of been the biggest changes for yourself that you've kind of noticed as now you have, you know, you look at a draw, you look at the scoreboard, you see the number two beside your name. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely different. Um, I think it's something I'm still sort of getting used to. I mean, uh, yeah, I think it's uh, an incredible achievement for, for me and um, some, it's something I'm, you know, I'm very proud of and, uh, you know, I think it, it just, uh, yeah, there's still a lot to work for still and, uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been exciting and, and cool. Hi, Ned. It's such an interesting time right now in women's tennis. There, there's so many younger players right now who are, who are near the top of the sport, but there's also some of the legends as well who are still playing, you know, as veterans. I'm just kind of curious, can you elaborate just on what it's like to, to be in, in this time right now in women's tennis? Yeah, I think it's a very interesting time. I think, you know, um, anyone can beat anyone, and it's. Uh, I think it makes watching tennis so interesting because you never know what's going to happen. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's uh, it's great. I, I mean, I personally love watching women's tennis. I think it's um, fascinating, and um, yeah. So I think the the diversity is, is very good. Hi, and uh, it's a bit of a follow up question, but uh, as you may know, the Williams sisters are here. Did you grow up watching them? Did they inspire you uh, in your career? Yeah, of course. I mean, I uh, I was watching them play when I was when I was. Uh, a child and uh, they always played uh, incredibly well I think you know when I was watching them they were probably at the peak of their uh, of their careers and uh, it's pretty incredible that they are uh, that they're here playing and um, yeah I mean they are they are legends like you said Uh, and then you played uh, Iga like first couple meetings uh, you beat Iga she's got the best in the last three um, what's kind of changed from her? Obviously, she's had an incredible year, but what have you kind of noticed from you know, your first couple of meetings to, to now? Um, I think uh, already the first few times I played against her, I mean, I, uh, I, I saw that she had a lot of potential. So I think her game has just um, improved little by little every year. And um, I mean, she's so solid. She, she moves incredibly well, and she's also playing more aggressive. Um, from from this year, I feel like, or from, from the end of last year, and, and uh, I mean, yeah, she's. Uh, I, I mean, I always saw her as a very very dangerous opponent already when she was younger, but she's definitely, um, you know, she's out of that, you know, that younger phase, and she's really, um, you know, a very very solid, very dangerous player on on every surface now. Any more questions? Yeah. I just, yeah, I just wanted to go back to because you were. Kind of back to the COVID talk in a, in a bit. Uh, you mentioned that you you've been practicing not as high intensity for a while, so just to get you the rhythm back and get your you know, your health back. Are you still practicing a low intensity, or has uh, the training been more high intensity as of really, as of It's back to normal intensity now. I mean, um, yeah, when I was um, didn't have my energy or when I was not feeling well. It was tough to like take a break because the tournaments were still going on, and uh, I think it was something I should have, looking back at it now, should have done earlier. But once I took a break for like three weeks, like a total break, that's when I started getting better and, and feeling better. Okay. Thank you very much. Cool.